Oh, my fleas are waking up. <coughs> This is my deathbed confession. <laughs> it was 1969. I was pregnant and I was scared. These two attorneys were looking for a plaintiff to help overturn the Texas abortion laws. That was Roe versus Wade. Um, Norma McCorvey, AKA Jane Roe. An FX documentary film. I came from a rough childhood. We were poor. <laughs> I liked girls, but my mom told me queers are dirty. She was exploited and abused. When I was 16, I got married. I said, I'm pregnant, and he hit me. A lot of people are shocked that I've never had an abortion. Norma McCorvey became the embodiment of the pro-choice cause. I'm not a demure, picture-perfect, white-gloved lady. She wanted to be an activist. She was not the poster girl that would have been helpful. What? Her case changed the law. The pro-lifers would holler, don't go in there and kill your baby, and I'd say, oh, shut up. That had to be dealt with. Her story divided the country. It cost her physically, emotionally, financially. She was totally lost in her own mess. I knew what she needed. He said, do you like what you're doing? Norma McCorvey has joined a leading anti-abortion group and found religion. Norma McCorvey, born again Christian. Hallelujah! Now, the real Jane Roe. betrayal. All I'm doing is watching out for Norma's ass. Is she playing us? In her own words. If you're nice and quiet and polite, nobody pays any attention to you. God just worked a miracle. She jumped from spawn of Satan to a child of Christ. If it were known she was a lesbian, she would be kicked out. I loved her with all my heart. When you do what we did to Norma, you lose your soul. This is for all the women to come after me. Her whole life was an attempt to tell her real story. AKA Jane Rowe. May 22nd only on FX.